Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation here, which is 4 to the power of x minus 2. This is equal to 40. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. This exponential equation is of the form a to the power of n minus m, which we can express as a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of 2. This is equal to 40. Now, let's multiply both signs by 4 to the power of 2. So that now, here we have 4 to the power of x. This is equal to 40 multiplied by 4 to the power of 2. To solve for x here, let's introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have rog 4 to the power of x. This is equal to rog 40 multiplied by 4 to the power of 2. The next step is that rog 4 to the power of x, this is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog rog a. Now applying this logarithm property, then rog 4 to the power of x becomes x rog 4. This is equal to rog 40 multiplied by 4 to the power of 2. The next step is that rog 40 times 4 to the power of 2. This is in the form of rog a times b, which you can express as rog a plus rog b. Now, applying this logarithm property, then here we have x rog 4. This is equal to rog 40 multiplied by 4 to the power of 2. Now, this means we have, let's divide both signs by rog 4 here. So that now, we have that x is equal to rog 40 divided by rog 4 plus rog 4 to the power of 2 divided by rog 4. Now we can express 40, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 5. And then we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. Now substituting this back to the equation here, we have x is equal to, this is rog, 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 5 divided by, here we have rog, 2 to the power of 2, then plus, here we have rog, 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 here, then divided by rog 2 to the power of 2. Now, rog 2 to the power of 3 times 5, we've seen that this is in the form of rog A times B, which you can express as rog A plus rog B. So this means that x is equal to rog 2 to the power of 3 divided by rog 2 to the power of 2 then plus rog 5 divided by rog 2 to the power of 2 then plus here we have rog 2 to the power of 4 divided by rog 2 to the power of 2. The next step is to apply the power root property here, so that now we have x is equal to rog 2 to the power of 3, this becomes 3 rog 2, divided by rog 2 to the power of 2, this is 2 rog 2, then plus rog 5, divided by 2 rog 2, and then plus 4 rog 2, divided by 2 rog 2. Now let's simplify here, rog 2 and rog 2 simplifies here. Then we have 4 divided by 2, this is 2. Then here we have rog 2 and rog 2 here simplifies. Now this implies that x here is equal to 3 over 2 plus a half. This is rog 5 divided by rog 2, then plus 2. Now we have x is equal to, now this is 2, plus 3 over 2, then plus a half, this is rog 5, divided by rog 2. Now, we have here x is equal to 
Now 2 plus 3 over 2, this is the same thing as 7 over 2, then plus a half. This is row 5 divided by row 2. Now, we have that row 5 over row 2. This is in the form of row A divided by row B. And this can be expressed as row A to base B. Applying this logarithm property, then x here is equal to 7 over 2. Then plus a half. This is row 5 to base 2. Now, we have that a half is common here, so we can factor out a half so that we have a half into the parentheses. This is 7 plus rog 5 to base 2. Now, this is the value of x. The next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation as follows. Now, let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall... We end at 4 to the power of x subtract 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Substituting the value of x, this implies we have 4 to the power of a half. Into the parentheses, this is 7 plus log 5 to base 2. Then subtract 2. This should give us a value of 40. The next step is that we can express 4. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So here we have 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by, here we have a half into the parentheses. This is 7 plus log 5 to base 2. Then subtract 2 here. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, let's simplify here. We have, this is 2 to the power of 2 and 2 here simplifies, so we have 7 plus log 5 to base 2, then subtract 2 times 2, which is 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, we have 2 to the power of 7 minus 4, and this is equal to 3 plus log 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, 2 to the power of 3 plus rog 5 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which you can express as a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of rog 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. We have that 2 to the power of 3. This is the same thing as 8. So we have 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of rog 5 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of rog b to base a. And this should give us a value of b. So this implies that 2 to the power of rog 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 5. Now let's substitute 5 back to the equation here. So we have 8 times 5. This should give us a value of 40. 8 times 5, this is 40, which is equal to 40. Now this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is equal to a half into the parentheses, 7 plus rog 5 to base 2, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.